Oh, hi. Didn't see you there. Enjoying this wonderful pizza from Slice on Broadway, the people in Pittsburgh that provide good pizza to podcasters. Hey guys, it's Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter here for AwesomeCast.net. That is another edition of the Awesome Chat, where uh, on the other show, on the Awesome Cast, we like to get geeky, have a talk tech, and all just be pundits. But we uh, actually wanted to have a, a bit of an interview series and have a little bit uh, longer conversation with some of the cool people that we're finding that we were having on the show. So that is this. And thank you, everybody that's been joining us, everybody checking out the videos we've had in the past few weeks, uh, especially with uh, uh, Nebulous uh, and Alpha Lab Company, a couple of Alpha Lab companies we talked to so far the coin op museum so much more and and we're gonna uh, just anything there's not really any boundaries to this thing so if you think uh, there's anybody we need to be talking to please let us know and you can do that at sorgatron on the twitter uh hit us up awesome cast on the uh, uh twitter facebook and google plus and of course awesome cast at sorgatronmedia.com and check out all the stuff at awesomecast.net including the live show at 6 30 p.m eastern time at live.awesomecast.net uh so with me this is actually uh, uh something you know not a product not anybody you know anything like that this is a company that's that's doing some really cool things i got to attend a little bit of a, a is it a soiree what, what, what did we call that thing a few weeks ago <laughs> <laughs> that's a good question that seemed a long time ago it was just a, a social <laughs> social gathering of course we have sarah meyer and jennifer highfield with the great up to company out there helping small businesses uh make sense of all this all this all this internet stuff right that's right um it's yeah you know what up to started actually as a pop-up for main street so we were really targeting small business owners and we really expanded it. But the general idea is that small business owners, really in entrepreneurs just starting up, don't really have access to a ton of money to spend on not only their online presence, but their, you know, their brand, their social media, their writing, everything in the marketing and communications realm. So this service is really there to fill that gap for small business owners and entrepreneurs who have a little bit of money, but they, they can't afford to hire a big agent. Excellent. So, so um, uh, up to so how are you guys doing that? Because I know for myself, I'm a freelancer in a little bit of the web, and of course the video. And it's always been a hard to go to. So, and I've seen that with 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 uh, uh, like, well, I, I I like to charge this because this is what makes sense for me as a business. Um, mm -hmm. But how do you guys kind of intercede with that and and, and find the talent to do uh, the work and connect them? Yeah, we have a we have a great roster of freelancers who um, have been working with us for some time. We have graphic designers, we have writers, we have folks who um, help out with some websites and social media, digital media, and we are able to connect with them as a way to really supplement their individual freelance work. So they work with us on a project by project basis, and you know can decline jobs if they have other work that they are doing and just don't have the time. But that's why we have this roster of folks available to us. So depending on the day and the time of the month and um, whether we are in our permanent location in, in East Liberty or at a pop-up in a main community, we have folks that we can call on to work with these small business owners who understand all the importance of also being able to talk to those business owners and educate them on the process of how they came up with the logo or why they created the uh, social media page, the website or social media page in this way to drive traffic and be user friendly. Excellent. Excellent. Can you explain a little more? How do these, these pop ups work? Because I've seen these coming up all over town. Yeah. So we, uh, we started out, our first pop up was um, in Butler in 2013, I believe. We've done about eight now so far. And um, they, they're really great because what happens is we work with a local um, CDC, a community development corporation, and they fund us coming to their main street for one week. Hmm. So we use that funding to pay the freelancers a living wage, and then we offer our services at a donation. So, um, you know, it's really uh, accessible for the small business owner. And what we want to do is we just, like Jen said, we want to educate them. We want to get them on a path to understanding how a logo could be, a, the, the right kind of logo could benefit their business in the long term. And we do educate them on the market pricing. Mm -hmm. 
So, you mm-hmm. know, you're going to give us a donation of maybe a hundred bucks, but this is what it would cost in reality. We do tell them that we do explain that. Um, and what we really ultimately hope we're doing is making connections with that small business owner and the freelancer that is doing the work so that the next time that business owner needs something, they can go back to that freelancer. I like that education and, and, and talking with you guys at the uh, at our swearway uh, a few months ago. <laughs> um, I, I like that education side of things. You're kind of uh, teaching them, especially on the social media as well. And I, I just talked about this on my own podcast this morning about like teaching them how maybe they can be a little more hands on with it, right? Yeah, I think that uh, a thing like social media is overwhelming to Mm -hmm. uh, a a business owner that, especially established business owner that's, you know, really used to driving business in a very traditional sense. And so there's a lot of training and handholding, but at the base of it, it's really just uh, giving them some great opportunities and ideas to tell their story. it's, It's what they do. It's what they've always done. They just are we're using a new platform to do it. And so mm-hmm. it's just kind of getting them comfortable, really. Excellent. Excellent. So, so how do you, um, uh, beyond, uh, you, you actually have some, uh, learning materials online, right? We are building our learning materials online. The idea is that once a pop-up comes through a town or if somebody comes to our permanent space here in East Liberty, we want to give them tools that they can access anytime you know, whenever they're available, small business owners are, you know, their schedule is erratic. So we want to give them an opportunity to access videos and tutorials and tips and all of that. And we're building that out right now. So that is going to be coming soon. We're just going to charge a small subscription fee for that. And hopefully we can get, you know, everybody that comes into our world involved in that so they can continue to learn. Mm-hmm. So, uh, as a as a freelancer, what's the advantage? Why? So, uh, and I know you're, you. At least the last time I talked to you, you were looking for freelancers in certain mm-hmm. sectors. So, so please let us know if anything you're looking for today. Um, and we were, if videos catches us late, uh, late, we're actually recording this on on June twelfth. Uh, mm-hmm. So, uh, so, so what is it? What is it in for the freelancer to get involved in something like this? So, I think there's a couple of benefits. The um, the the first benefit that we've seen is that we tend to, you know, have a, a mix of freelancers, whether they're at the beginning of their freelance career or they're more established. The the folks that are at their beginning of their career, this is a really great opportunity for them to mm-hmm. interact with clients in a setting where they have some support. So they're not out there on their own trying to get that client. They're not in a situation where they have to um, build that relationship all by themselves. So we really give them a, a, a safe learning environment uh, to do that, and it's a great portfolio builder. So in the course of a, a one-week pop-up, um, our design freelancers can work on anywhere between 10 to 15 pieces. Nice. And so that that might take a, you know, a, a freelancer an entire year to build, um, and we do it in one week for them. We've had a number of freelancers comment, how they've been able to secure more work because of their interactions with up to, and a couple of them actually went on to get jobs. So, excellent, excellent, cool. What are you looking for? Anything in particular these days? We are always looking for every discipline of freelancer, um, but right now we could really use um, somebody that's uh, a web person that's really familiar with WordPress. Um, we want to be building WordPress sites for our business owners because we want it to be user friendly. We want them to be able to add content without um, you know, having too much hand holding. So somebody that can do WordPress sites, they're very simple sites. Mm-hmm. And um, we're always looking for writers. We're always looking for you know social media folks. So pretty much the whole gamut of um, marketing. Excellent. So, so generally, you're doing web design, graphics, uh, social media. Is there any services you have in there that that maybe people aren't expecting if they come to you? I'm sure we do have some on our our mm-hmm. list because it's a pretty big list. Isn't that the list behind you from the? the- <laughs> it is. <laughs> well, I think the other thing is that even though we have the list, it doesn't mean we can't do something else. Mm-hmm. So um, we've you know done menus and signage for restaurants and. We work on flyers and brochures, of course, more uh, standard and traditional things. Mm-hmm. We're working on email marketing uh, templates for folks. So it really is a good blend of you know new media and traditional media, and how you know customers look for those things um, or look for your business both ways. You know they want to see you on 
the inter- internet and on the web and on social media, but sometimes they want to get a coupon in the mail. So it's a matter of deciding what works best for your business and what is the best way to reach your audience. Mm-hmm. So how much is this? I, I know for myself, uh, you know, building, trying to build a business, I always have the mentality. I don't know if this is the mentality of most uh, uh, kind of business starters that they want to kind of do everything hands on. They want to have a hand on every aspect of this. How important is it to say, ah, maybe somebody with no more experience should, should do my web page, my my logo, etc. cetera, in, in that sort of case? And, and how much resistance do you see to that point? How much, uh, you probably see it mostly in these pop-up uh, events. Is that correct? Yeah, I think, um, you know, it's interesting. You know, the folks that have a website probably have a negative story about it. They right. can't access it. They don't know how to update it. They, um, they've lost contact with the person that's put, that has put it up, uh, their, their, uh, their internet provider put it up. You know, there's, there's a a gamut of, um, stories that we hear and, you know, the reaction is, is this is not my skill set, and I'm already wearing, as you said, the accountant hat and, you know, the, um, you know, every book, everything they're doing. So this is one thing they're, they're pretty willing to give away. Um, because it just seems really overwhelming and complicated, the mm-hmm. whole website building thing. So we do try to make it um, a little bit more accessible and train them on it. We, we build a very simple five-page site for them, and then we train them on how to update those five pages. We just start there and just get comfortable there, and then they can kind of grow from, from there. But, uh, but we tend to see some negative stories before they come in, but they know they need a website. So it, that's never a even part of a sell. Excellent, excellent. So I see. Uh, as I visited, you're part of the cube. The are you officially part of the beauty shop? I know it's. I, I, I'm trying to always trying to figure out intermingle which part is which when it comes to the cube and the beauty shop over there in East Liberty. Um, it, it's really kind of a place that's coming up. A lot of companies kind of starting up over there. Um, how how has been the experience uh, there in the neighborhood and, and being a part of that? It's been great. I mean, I think that this environment is very supportive in general, but for a concept like ours to be in close proximity with so many small business owners and entrepreneurs, you know, Alpha Lab was um, uh, hanging out in the space for a couple of months, and mm-hmm. there, so there's a lot of, of their companies, um, you know, getting, getting exposure with up to. So it's been really, it's been really helpful to be in a co-working space. Um, and so that's been great. And I think that, you know, the guys at the beauty shop and here at the cube work, you know, they're, they work very closely together. So we get access to both, um, both communities. Excellent. Excellent. Hey, kind of, kind of bridging that gap. Cause I know, I know for some, like I, I'm looking to East Liberty cause I, I, I'm seeing you guys, I'm seeing the tech shop, I'm seeing that. And then that definitely can disconnect to, uh, a, a, a pizza place over here in Beachview, I guess a little bit. Right. Yeah. <laughs> that's it. And so that's why we do the pop-ups because we do want to reach out into, um, you know, any community that has a main street really mm-hmm. is you know, a place that we want to go that has business owners of any type um, because it's accessibility. It's not, there's just this, this whole shroud around a small business owner, you know, doesn't use an agency. And right. so we want to bring that, you know, high quality services that you can get at an agency to the main street. And so that's why we just, the pop-ups are so important for reaching a lot of communities. Certainly, certainly. And bridge that gap. Cause I know for me, like, I don't know, it, it, is it accessible for me as a freelancer to walk into every store for and be like, Hey, you need a website, you need a video, you know, it, how does that conversation start? So right. it, it's kind of nice to see that as well. I, I noticed the goal here on your website. Uh, it's a pretty, pretty good one. Uh, your 2014-15 goal is to help more than 250 businesses hire 25 creative professionals in the process. Mm-hmm. You speak a little bit of that goal. How's it going? Yes. So we, let's see, 20, that, does that say 2014 and 15? We're doing pretty good if we add those two together. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it does say both. Okay. That so, sense, yeah, that makes sense. Um, 2014 uh, slash 15, we've done eight pop-ups. We've helped, um, 90 some businesses. I believe we've worked with, um, 20 some freelancers and we have another four pop-ups that are happening. And I'm not counting the cube actually. Right. That's all the right. pop-ups. Um, and so here at the cube, how many businesses so far? 20? Yeah. Yeah. And four or five pretty steady freelancers yeah. um, here at the Cube. 
the word in the mix there. <laughs> It depends on the numbers, right? I wasn't uh, adding that up, but you know, we're we're making progress. I think you know, a goal is, a, is you know, start a shoot for, and I think we're um, we're going at it as, as much as we can. Excellent, excellent. So, what what brought you guys? I think I talked to you guys, uh, one or both of you individually, uh, at, at the thing about what brought you to something like up to. Uh, mm-hmm. what, what did how did you get introduced to this this company? Or I don't know if you were part of the forming of it. Uh, and 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 how's that been going for you individually? Yeah, so um, myself and my business partner, Eric, we, we founded um, up to, we have a full service firm that we, um, we just felt there was a gap. I, I was raised by uh, small business owners. I have a number of entrepreneurs in my family, and I just felt like there was something missing on Main Street, and I could see that you know this could be um, a really needed thing that business owners would want. And so Eric and I were just talking. We're like, well, let's just try it. Let's uh, this pop up thing is a craze. Um, let's pop up in a Main Street for a week and see what happens. So we tested it through our larger agency, and then we spun it out on its own, you know, LLC, and we formed it as Up to No Good, and um, we started popping up more. And then we continued to grow it. Uh, and Jen came into our world and she and I had worked together prior in another, in another world. And so we brought her in um, to be a freelancer. And so she was a freelancer at a couple of pop-ups and she became a project manager. And now she is a partner of Upsell. Excellent. You know, as, as a freelancer, it was just a great way to, again, supplement what I was doing my, on my own. It was uh, the pop up weeks are really fun and intense because there are so many projects, but you are in an office with other creative people, you're brainstorming, you're talking with others. So, versus working alone as an independent freelancer, it was a nice change of pace. You got to meet with so many different business owners and from nonprofit to, um, you know, accountants, jewelers, hairdressers, so many different types of businesses that you may never have um, thought you would work with. And I think in addition to, you know, stretching myself again as the turnaround time of getting the work back to those customers. But I know that some of the designers also comment about, you know, I would have not worked with a company like this, meaning I always focused on working with other creative individuals. So I never thought about working with a construction company. or I never would have approached the hairdresser because I'm more familiar with construction and home remodeling. So it was another way to either push, you know, push them outside of their comfort zone and make them uh, stretch a little bit in who they would normally work with. Excellent, excellent. So, so what's coming up next for uh, for up to what's what, what's the prospect for the future? Uh, any pop ups you want to plug here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're still <laughs> here at the Cube, you know, weekly nine to five. We take appointments in the evening on the weekend, um, so you can get creative services anytime here at the Cube, but. From the pop-up circuit, we have one coming up at the end of July for two weeks, and we're going to Charleroi, um, so it's a little you know, it's south, but mm-hmm. um, we're excited about that. They have a really uh, a pretty amazing uh, main street there, so we're excited to go and um, help out there. We are looking for freelancers for, for that particular pop-up, so if anybody listening is interested, that would be um, definitely great. Yes. Yeah. Um, and then we're working on a few others that we're not ready to announce just yet, but we're really close. So, um, and those are a little bit more local. Um, and so as soon as we have those available, we'll put those out on Twitter and on Facebook and on our website. Awesome. Awesome. Uh, any, 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 any cool stories, any cool anecdotes about, uh, if you're allowed to share, I don't know, uh, about, uh, any kind of surprising, I don't know, projects or, 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 or companies that may have come across you? Uh, we find it every single time. There's, there. <laughs> You know, I think I can gener- I, I can give some specifics, but there's a general, um, you know, when a business owner comes to us, especially in the pop-up, uh, we always provide a half-hour consultation with every appointment because we really want to narrow down to what does this business owner need the most, what's going to have the, bi- the biggest impact. And so during that 30-minute session, we learn as much as we can about why they're in business, you know, what do they do, who's their target customer. And it's like a therapy session. They share with us, you know, everything possible within that 30 minutes. It tends to sometimes run a little longer than 30 minutes. Um, But, you know, 
for instance, we worked with um, Miss Ida the Barber. She's uh, a business here in East Liberty. And, you know, she had never done any marketing. And she came in and she, um, she simply wanted a poster where people could pull off um, her phone number and call her. And her idea was to put it up in senior center, centers and she would come and cut on demand. So um, he came in not knowing what to expect. We put her through this whole process and we came out with this amazing poster that doesn't you know look like your average lost cat poster with the tear off <laughs> um, number, but that's essentially what it boiled down to. It was a very simple solution for her and she loved it and she came back and called us and said, I'm you did this for me. Now I want a logo. So she, she, because of that process understood what she could do, the, you know, the additional things that she could be doing. So she's a great story. Oh my gosh. Like there's so many, um, I think of some other I really, mean, even just those, those conversations and learning about the business owners, what they, uh, where they came from, how they got started in this business, this crazy business, why you would want to be an entrepreneur and face these struggles. And, you know, those stories are always fascinating. There's, there's always a story behind it. And, you know, talking to friends always, you need, you guys need a blog, you need to talk about this, you need to talk about these folks. And I don't, I don't know if those folks want us to tell their deep, dark stories, but right. It is a great therapy session, and sometimes that's what they need more than anything is someone to listen to, you know, some of the struggles they've had and to give them, you know, an opinion of, well, here's what we think is the next best step versus their nephew's girlfriend who does some social media or, you know, just, and as Sarah mentioned, the, the folks that they have that they've had a bad experience with, mm -hmm. um, so really giving them a sense of trust and you know building a relationship so that they um, feel comfortable talking with us and and putting you know their business in our hands. It, that is so interesting, especially with the social media side of things, because uh, you know it, it is hard to uh, make things kind of, make people kind of look at things kind of the other way to say no, this is a story you should be telling. Like this is the reason why people are going to come back to you. Yeah, it's funny. You know, that's always kind of an aha moment where they're telling us this really fascinating story and we're like, have you shared this with anybody? Um, have you told it? No, I haven't. It's, you know, just, just, I never thought to tell it to anybody. What, how would I do that? Where would I do that? And then we say, it's a good thing you're here. Cause we're going to tell you exactly how to do that. That's <laughs> awesome. That's awesome. And, and more people are doing that. More people are getting out there and, and, uh, 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 teaching people how to talk on this new web. Right. So, yeah, absolutely. It's, it's necessary today. All right. Well, thank you for joining us today on the awesome chat. Uh, it's up to it's uh, what are you up to dot org. And where else can they find you online? Um, we are uh, on Facebook and on Twitter. Twitter is up to good things is the handle for Twitter. And I think Facebook might be the same, same thing. Yep. Yep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, but we're in both of those places besides the web. And you can always come just walk on in at the cube. We're always, you know, here taking appointments. And I got to clarify, you you mentioned you were uh, up to no good LLC before. That's spelled the other way, right? It's spelled <laughs> K-N-O-W. That's right. Because I mean, if anybody heard that, I realized that might have sounded a little weird, uh, right? Just on audio. So yeah, yeah. Yep. <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. Up to no good. Uh, no, that makes it up now. What are you up to? Dot org. Check them out if you're a business or, or you're, you're looking newer freelancer, looking to work, looking to help out, looking to give back to the community in some way and, and, and get your feet wet with a, a lot of new uh, prospective uh, uh, clients there. I think it's a, it's a really good opportunity. Both sides of fence and really good to see you guys uh, connect in both of them. Another really awesome thing happening here in Pittsburgh. Again, if, uh, let us know what you think of uh, up to. Uh, uh, contact them and, uh, and let us know anybody else you think doing really cool things especially here in pittsburgh button technology abroad that's fine too at awesomecast.net you can find all the social media the links and all kinds of stuff there and you please find the awesome chat on itunes uh stitcher spreaker i think we're on all those uh as well as the youtube for awesome cast as well if you want to see our smiling faces for this one as well and uh we'll see you guys next time thank you to my awesome guests you've been our awesome audience have an awesome week This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.